All right, continuing on with our day of the week effects for the Facebook uh, stock returns, we've worked out the mean uh, for each of the five days. Now we want to continue on and do the median and the standard deviation. Uh, the formulae for that, again, there's more than one way to do this, but uh, we can uh, do it all within one a single neat kind of formula. Uh, it's just a little bit more involved than doing the mean. So for the mean we use the average if. It would be nice if there were a median if, but there isn't. So we have to kind of construct one ourselves. So the formula itself kind of has uh, a few components to it. So we're going to go as follows. But first of all, we want to take a median. So uh, there's the median command. And the way that we've used that in the past is you just go equals median, you select the range, you know, these returns that you want to take the median of and you're done. Now what we want instead is to take the median of these numbers only when the day is equal to Monday in the first instance. So there is a standalone kind of um, command in Excel which is if. Okay, so we're going to put the if command inside the median. So this if command what its job is going to be is go through the days, select those that are equal to Monday, and then pick the return for those days. So here is how that's, this is going to look. So if just looking at this if command, there are two things. Uh, well, we're, we're going to use just two things here uh, for the if command. One is the logical test. The logical test means testing whether the day is equal to Monday or equal to the the entry in E2. And then the value of this is true is going to be taken from this return column. Okay, so there are two elements that we need to put into this into this if uh, into this if statement. So first of all the logical test. Let's put in something that tests whether each of the days are equal to Monday or equal to the contents of E2. Alright, so the range of days that we've got is C2 down to C2. 252. Okay, so that's selected all of the days, and you can see that that's come up on the screen. Um, and we want that in the first instance to be equal to E2, okay, which has now come up on the screen as well, the Monday. So that's going to go through and test those uh, days. Now, if the days are equal to Monday, we want the if command to return the values that are contained in the returns column column B. Okay, so we're going to type in B uh, from 2 up to 252. Okay, the entire column of returns like that. And we're going to close that if and we're going to close off the brackets for the median and we're done. Alright, now you may think at this point if you press enter you'll get the answer. So if we press enter we don't get the answer, we just get zero. So this is uh, just a bit of a, a trick which you'll probably fall into. I repeatedly fall into with these kinds of commands that are involving these ifs, which is that they need to be entered in Excel terminology as arrays, which mean when you enter this formula, you get all of this stuff is fine. But when you get to the end, instead of just hitting enter, you need to hit shift command or shift control enter. And then we get the medium. Uh, I've given it there to five decimal places for no particularly good reason. Let's have it to three to match what we've got in, in the means. So it was important. And you see you've got those curly brackets around this formula now. They got inserted by Excel. I didn't do that. Excel did that when I pressed the control or command shift enter. Um, so the thing I guess to bear in mind is when you're using these ifs you probably have to use these kind of array um, this command shift enter instead of just a normal enter. So that's a just something to remember, if you get silly answers coming out of these formulae, when you're putting in the correct formula, it probably means that you didn't hit the command shift enter. So we didn't need to do that for the mean. Okay, average if is just a standard old command, whereas this one with the if on its own in here in the brackets is an array command, and we needed to do that command shift enter or control shift enter or we those. Right, we would now like to copy this down to the remaining days, and, re and just like we did for the mean, we're going to have to lock in some uh, numbers so that when we copy them down, they continue to work. So the range for the 
days stays the same from 2 to 252, no matter where we put this formula, and the range for the returns stays the same, no matter where we put this formula. Okay, so that locks in those numbers. That's going to allow us to copy this formula down to the other four days. Now while I'm here and fixing things, what I'm also going to do is just looking ahead, having done the median, then I'm going to do the standard deviation in exactly the same way. Uh, and what that, the way that I'm going to do that is to take this cell and copy it across to the right. From, um, and so when I do that, it's going to be helpful to have also fixed that the days always live in column C. So I'm just going to fix that as well. Okay. Don't need to do this just for the medians, but when we start copying across to other columns, it's handy. Uh, and I'm going to set that the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday column is always column E, no matter where in the spreadsheet we are. And the returns are always in column B, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, so basically fixing everything except for that two, because that's referring to the row for Monday. And what we're about to do is to take this formula and copy it down to these places, whereupon that 2 is going to get updated with 3, 4, 5, 6, which is what we want, whereas all of these other cell references are going to be kept fixed, which is also what we want. Okay, so hopefully this is going to work. Command Shift Enter again, and the number hasn't changed obviously, so all that we did was just fix some cell references, that's not going to change what happens for Monday. But now let's take this cell and I'm going to press Command or Control C to copy it and then select this range of cells and go Command V, Control V on Windows to paste that formula down into the rest of those cells. And so now we've got the medians for, uh, for each of the separate days calculated like that. All right, we're nearly there. We just need to do the same thing again now for the standard deviations. Just call it, let's say, SD for the standard deviation. can go here. And the structure for the standard deviation is going to be essentially the same as for the median. So we can really take this uh, formula right here, and I'm just going to copy it across to here. And all that's necessary, so all of this stuff inside now is still correct. And the reason that it's still correct when copying it across is because of having the foresight to lock in those C's and E's and B's. So putting those dollars in front of those things meant that when this formula from here got copied across one place, those C's and E's and B's did not themselves get shifted. Okay, so that's the point of having all those dollar signs in there is just to allow you to grab a formula and to shift it somewhere else without changing those, those kinds of ranges. Okay. So sometimes when you copy a formula you want it to change, such as this 2 here needs to go 2, 3, 4 and so on, uh, but a lot of the other times you don't. Now what we do need of course is to change median into the standard deviation formula, stdev.s um, for the sample standard deviation, and we'll go command shift enter, and that gives us the standard deviation for the returns on Mondays. And now we just need to copy these down to the remaining days. So the cell will go Command or Control C to copy it. And then the same procedure as well. We'll select this range. And then to paste that in, Command V or Control V. And there we have all of the standard deviations calculated for, uh, for the five trading days.